and action. That's right, that's about my fifth take of this video. It's kind of crazy because my audio keeps saying, oh, it's not working, but it actually is. So I'm just going to keep going whether it says it's working or not because I really don't want to start over for the fifth, the sixth time it would be then. So moving on, it's Friday, so happy Friday, everyone. Um, my song this week, I know everybody's really annoyed with my theme, or at least um, the people in the middle of the week are. Um, but I actually have other songs for all those days that you guys didn't use, so it's not too terribly hard, but again, I apologize. But my Friday song um, is actually very sentimental to me, even though it is kind of um, poppy and everything. But it definitely has a lot of sentimental value and has a lot to do with things that have been going on this week. So my song is Dancing Queen by ABBA. So, Friday night and the lights are low, looking out for a place to go. Maybe I should explain why that song is important to me. So that song is important to me because one of... It's some of my favorite camp memories. The very first summer camp I ever worked at was called um, Camp Elk River. But what happened was that group um, was doing a number to Dancing Queen um, as part of their performance. And on the very last day of camps, so it was the very, very last day for everybody. And so in the middle of the dining hall, we because what I did is I stood up and said, five, six, seven, eight, and then all the girls jumped out of their seats. This is the middle of the dining hall at lunch and did the entire routine to Dancing Queen while singing. And it was absolutely fabulous and I was so proud of them and we had so much fun. Also, when I was working at Rock Hill in New York, one of the um, shows I got to go see for the, I, I got to see for the first time was Mamma Mia. And it was amazing, and I had a lot of fun, and my girls just absolutely loved it. Um, this was my um, my junior high girls, my 6th, 7th, 8th, and 8th graders. And um, so on the bus ride home, we were all singing Dancing Queen and Mamma Mia and everything else. So when it comes to camp, that song is very important to me. And the reason I bring this up is because this summer I am going to camp. Currently, I have a position at Camp Mariposa. Um, there are other camps that might contact me and I might, um, do resident camp, but at this point I'm going to be doing day camp again this summer. Um, Zoe, you can tell me I'm crazy. Jenny, you can tell me I'm, uh, we already talked about this. Um, everyone can kind of tell me I'm crazy for going back, but now that I've kind of made the decision, I'm kind of cool with it and excited. And the reason that is, is also because last Friday, the reason my video was late, um, I was at camp and I was leading songs for the boys and I realized how much I really miss camp and how much I just absolutely love it. Um, today I actually went and spoke to my man, my um, assistant manager, because we have a new manager, um, and I told her that I was leaving American Girl. And um, I gave her a date, June 18th, so um, that is the tentative date for me no longer working for AGP. So that's kind of official now. Um, as in celebration, Sunny will be coming over later and we will be playing around with the guitar and she'll be recording her Glee um, audition video. Also, we went to go see Bill Maher, the rehearsal of it um, yesterday, and that was a lot of fun. Sunny and I laughed our heads off because basically we just got to sit through the monologue the new rules and the editorial and just laugh at all the extra jokes so that they can kind of weed out the good ones from the bad ones. So if you're watching Bill Maher tonight, um, know that the jokes that he's are saying, we were kind of a part of that. So that was a lot of fun. Um, let's see, I'm looking at my crazy um, list of things. Tomorrow is Saturday. Saturday for everyone is going to be awesome except for me. Why? Because I have to work. I'm very sorry, Harrison. I tried desperately to switch my shift with someone. I asked for it off, but we have an author coming into the store. So I'm going to be missing Quidditch. I'm not only going to be missing Quidditch, I'm also going to be missing Cat Cora at a free demonstration and book signing at, um, Dis at California Adventure tomorrow. And I love Cat Cora. She's amazing. And on top of that, the most wor the worst possible thing could happen. So I was all excited. I have Sunday off, and I was hoping I was going down to the Festival of Books at UCLA. Um, 
So, and I had heard my favorite person in the world was going to be there, Bernadette Peters. But the Festival of Books is Saturday and Sunday. Turns out Bernadette Peters is going to be there on Saturday, right in the middle of the day, because my shift's from 11.30 to 8, so I'm going to totally miss it. So everything is happening on Saturday, and I'm going to miss all of it, because I'm going to be at work. I'm not excited. I am actually really disappointed and kind of really upset about this. And the last thing on here on my fabulous list of things I wanted to talk about is reading. So everybody has kind of sort of a thing that they do. So I've decided after um, a lot to talk about whatever I am reading this week. So the book of the week that I've been reading this week is actually, um, it's three books. It's Irene Radford's The Dragon Nimbus Volume 1. Um, so the first one I'm reading is The Glass Dragon. Uh, here. I'll read what the back says. In the realm that has always been protected by its magicians, a kingdom whose ruler's life and power is inextricably... I can't even talk today. Inextricably... Is linked with that of the dragons. Sorry, guys. A time of crisis has arrived. Someone is killing the dragons, and they're not. And as their numbers diminish, magic is fading from the kingdom of Quran. The kingdom's unlikely saviors are a young wizard whose magic is completely unorthodox, and an equally young witch woman who has been befriended by the last of the dragons. Can they find out who is behind the attempt to destroy these legendary creatures and put an end to the slaughter before all the magic is drained from the land? Guess what? You'll have to read it to find out. So The Glass Dragon by Irene Radford. The other ones follow um, is The Perfect Princess and The Loneliest Magician. But I highly recommend Irene Radford. I've read this book a couple of times now. Um, so, But that is my book of the week. And that is what I am currently reading. So I will talk to you, to you guys all um, later. And um, yeah, have a great weekend. Bye, guys.